Okay, okay. Go with the 91 stamina. All right, spot up and lock take. All right, now let's see what the build name is. Let's see what the build name is. No way an all around threat. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, y'all see it. Yes, sir, I have built an all around threat. This is not a fake video. This is not clickbait, none of that. Now look, my old all around threat build is fire too. Don't get me wrong. The one from my old video is fire too, but look, we finally have the name. This is a complete real build. This is not fake or nothing like that. Look, this is not edited. Y'all can see all around threat. Y'all see right there on the point guard right there. Bam, all around threat build. This is real. Y'all see it right here, all around threat. This is not a clickbait video or nothing like that. I'm saying this is an actual video. If y'all want the all around threat name, it's fire. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this build is fire, but it does slack in some categories. If y'all want the build, like up the video right now all right y'all like i said the all-around threat build is finally possible this is a fact this is completely true no clickbait none of that i told y'all 100 percent this is the all-around threat build doesn't really matter the jersey number but y'all have to go point guard for this build y'all can go right hand left hand don't really matter that's completely personal preference now look the height i want to go with is similar to my old all-around threat build so look i was on the way i was on the way with my old all-around threat build don't get me wrong but this time we actually get the name. It's crazy. So look, for the all around threat build, y'all wanna go six foot one, 183 pounds, and a six three wingspan. That's what y'all wanna do for this all around threat build. I know it's crazy. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. This bill isn't too good. You know I'm saying it's not too good to be considered an all-around threat because that's the build name it gets i'm not gonna lie it's not that good but if y'all here for the build name i got y'all i know a lot of people like to have the build names so we want to i'm going to give y'all the all-around threat build name now look for the driving layup y'all want to go with a 90 driving layup for the close shot keep it at 85 that's what y'all want to be doing now look another thing about this build even though it's an all-around threat is the speed is only an 80. now just like my old all-around threat build Basically, this is the same thing. Like, it still has high badges and everything, but 80 speed on a 6 foot one is gonna be tough out here for some people, but it's still solid and everything like that. So it's nothing truly bad to worry about. I'm telling you 100%, don't, really, don't even worry about the speed. You know what I'm saying? You're not lacking too much. Over for the defense, I wanna have a 90 perimeter defense, able to guard up crazy. Now, you are six foot one, so is 90 perimeter defense really that good? Not too much. But it will still do wonders. I'm telling you 100%. It'll still do wonders. Now, for the still, bro, y'all don't want to max this out. Y'all want to keep it exactly at 85. And that's it. You don't, you don't want to touch anything else in your defensive categories besides your um, defensive rebound. And that's it. Y'all want to have exactly 19 badges. This is what y'all want to be looking like. Y'all don't want to touch anything else. I'm telling y'all 100%. This is what y'all want to be doing. Over here for the playmaking badges, y'all want to have 92 ball handle basically you'll be able to get every drift move in the game you're solid you know what i'm saying it's pretty fire pretty fire i'm telling you 100 percent over for the speed ball cap it out at 90 you don't want to go no higher no less i'm telling you 100 percent keep it like this and you should be looking golden over here for the playmaking i'm at pass and accuracy we're not slacking over here either we want to have 90 passing accuracy that's what y'all want for this build it goes crazy i'm telling you 100 percent y'all need if y'all want the build name this is what y'all gotta do. I'm telling y'all 100%. Over here for the three point shot, we're not lacking over here either. We have a 93 ball. Crazy, right? I know it's crazy, but yeah, this build goes hard. Over here for the mid range shot, we have an 80 mid range. Put the rest on free throw, not the rest because obviously we need stamina. Put an 80 on free throw and give us that 91 stamina. Now, this is the finished product bro what y'all want to have is 90 driving layup bam basically give you all of the drippy layup layup packages in the game this is pretty fire this is a good guard build probably for like 3v3 nothing serious especially not good on the 1v1 court i'm telling y'all there's too many builds in the game that's fire i'm not gonna say i recommend y'all to make this build if you want the all-around threat name then go ahead and make this for the three-point shot you have a 90 give you all a whole bunch of stuff you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you you looking fire over here on the three-point shot you know what i'm saying it's fire 92 ball and you get all the dribble moves in the game with a 90 speed with ball and y'all know that speed with ball really really matters compared to like speed this is only like relative on defense 
the speed don't really matter too much unless it's on like defense you know what i'm saying the speed with ball is really the thing that actually matters i'm telling y'all 100 defense is fire but on a six foot one are you really going to be that effective you're going to have to like if you're going to use this doing a 2v2 court or you know what i'm saying 3v3 you're always going to be want to switch it you're always going to be want to have like a lock in your team or at least two people that can guard you know what i'm saying and switch off and make them guard your people and then you probably guard the corner pop or something like that so yeah that's the build this is the build this is the all-around threat build this is the real all-around threat build nothing clickbait this is the real thing the real build the real thing all of that 100 percent now i'm not gonna lie for the takeovers it's looking um really simple i'm not gonna lie it's looking real simple you get shot creating sharpshooter playmaking and lock obviously since you're a small person i would run lock take that's just me but like I said, y'all can pick whatever takeover y'all want. I say this in all my vids. Me, I will go lock and sharp. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to. But me, I think I'm going to have to go lock and sharp. That just makes the most sense to me. I don't know. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to. But for me, I'm going to go lock and sharp because I'm already small. You know what I'm saying? I'm already small. I need help on like defense. So I think that this will be the best. You know what I'm saying? I think that lock and sharp will be the best. Since I'm six foot one. it just makes the most sense. And for the build name, I told y'all, no cap. 100% all around threat. It's a fact. I told y'all. This is, this is no cat build. This is 100%. You know what I'm saying? This is 100% an all around threat. And I know y'all want to know what badges I want to put on and what my badge recommendations are for a 6 for 1 build like this. So I got y'all on the all around threat. This is crazy. This is real. This is, this is not game breaking. It's nothing crazy. But if y'all want the build name, it's fire. You know what I'm saying? Now look, you are all around threat. You don't really have that much defensive uh, finishing tight badges to rock with so obviously your best option will be slithery if you ever try to go into the basket um, if you ever try to go into the paint you want to have on slithery i'm saying avoid as much contact as possible you don't get bully badges on this build so you're going to need slithery finisher on goal regardless i'm telling y'all 100 fearless finisher is a must-have now look rock on me y'all strengthens a player ability to absorb contact and still finish basically bully badge but just less like that you know what i'm saying it's less also reduces the amount of energy loss from contact labs w badge i recommend y'all put this on five you are a guard i'm telling y'all now the last well you can put it on silver for sure now for the last badge it's pretty self-explanatory giant slayer all you're going to be doing is playing against bigger people taller opponents you want to be able to put up all your layups possible you want to be looking like Kyrie out here putting up all your layups against big people all of the giants you need to have giant slayer on for sure you're already small there's no reason you know why y'all shouldn't be putting this badge on y'all can put it on gold if y'all want to and you know what i'm saying put up your fearless finisher and probably put on something else but in my opinion this is the best way to rock your 15 badges and plus since you get four plus which i'm dropping a video on that soon well you get nine plus badges depending on what y'all want to do it's crazy over here for the shooting badges y'all can do whatever y'all want to i'm telling y'all 100 but since you're a mad small player you're going to need hall of fame guard up it's it's just a fact you're definitely going to need hall of fame guard up. there's no reason why i shouldn't be putting it on it just makes the most sense next badge is dead eye limitless and blinders no reason why y'all shouldn't have these three on now depending on if you're going to be using this build as a spot up or just ice someone in general because you have all the moves in the game you could run amped you know what i'm saying you could run amped it makes the most sense to put this on silver or gold whatever you want to and you could probably run green machine which makes the most sense these is this is how we'll set it up but if you're like a spot up type player and you don't really do that you can slap on catch and shoot and play more it just makes the most sense but me i'm not really a spot up i don't really spot up for anyone that much so yeah that's that's what i would do over for the playmaker, you need mismatch expert you're already sure you need this this is 100 percent fire this is what i need and since you're mainly going to be playing against bigger people you're going to have to do a lot Put on clamp breaker it just makes the most sense and i heard the ankle breakers fire but i'm gonna just put that on silver just for y'all especially because i know that this badge goes crazy i'm telling y'all tested it it's actually crazy hands for days you need that you need to dribble as much as possible i'm saying you're not no lock or nothing like that so you're gonna need to dribble as long as possible don't get a 94 ball handle so you can't get gold handles for days but it is what it is also there's no reason why y'all shouldn't be putting on quick first step hall of fame why wouldn't you you need to be as fast as possible on this build. You already lacking a little bit in the speed. You only have an 80 speed and 82 acceleration. So you're gonna need quick first step hall of fame. There's no reason why y'all shouldn't be having that on. It's just it's just mandatory at this point. 
know what I'm saying? It's just mandatory. Killer combos, y'all can put this on gold if y'all want to. Move as fast as possible while y'all dribbling. Or y'all can drop it down to silver, get y'all bailout and dimer. Or y'all can, you know what I'm saying, do whatever y'all want to. This is completely up, completely up to y'all. I'm just saying what I would recommend. For the unpluckable beds, I run this on bronze all the time. I don't really see a difference between silver, gold, or hall of fame. Y'all can do what y'all want. But that's just me. Hyperdrive. I heard this is a good badge, but you know what I'm saying? I don't really use hyperdrive like that. So I'm gonna just put on killer combos, gold, and that is the playmaking badges. Now you get 19 defensive and rebounding badges. This is self-explanatory. This is not like something I can really tell y'all. So yeah, challenger, you're gonna need that on gold. No reason why y'all shouldn't be putting it on gold. And now it only costs four points. Not bad. Before it used to cost five, now it costs four. I pretty like that. I like that change that 2K did. It's pretty fire. Yeah, yeah, I like this change. I guess since they seen that challenger really wasn't that effective, they turned it down to four badges. That's pretty fire. I like that a lot. Clamps, you're gonna need this on silver. No reason why y'all shouldn't be putting it on silver. It's worth the badge points. You have 12 more badge points left. Pick dodger going on gold. No reason why y'all shouldn't be putting this on gold. You're gonna be getting a lot of picks set on you, and you're probably gonna fall to a lot of picks. But it is what it is. It's okay. It's 2K. You know what I'm saying? The screens is gonna be going crazy on you because you're six foot one. Interceptor, no reason why y'all shouldn't be putting that on. Glove, and the last two badge points. Me, personally, I will put it on workhorse, you know what I'm saying? It just makes the most sense. This is basically, um, this is basically Hustler badge from last 2K. So there's no reason why y'all shouldn't be putting this badge on. It just makes the most sense. Now y'all could put on Menace, which is a really good badge too, I heard. Y'all could put on um, ankle braces, but me, I'm not putting on those badges. I don't really see no reason to put those badges on, but that, is the all-around threat deal if you haven't already liked the video and subscribe bro what are you doing you're selling a bag come on like what are you doing like the vid like the vid and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on bro come on anyway bro i'm out peace